Anyway, you're probably thinking, yeah, right, this didn't really sell, but let me show you. All right, so I was getting ready for bed and I was like, you know, I haven't done a video for a while on vintage tens. Let's check out and see what is trending. Wait until you guys see the top three ah, trending vintage tens right now. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. So if you guys are at estate sales or garage sales, these are three tens that you want to be looking for. And one of them, oh my goodness, um, just stay tuned. All right, let's get started here. So the first one is actually not one that is trending, but it is the highest auction sold that I found. And it is a ready cut cigar pipe tobacco tin. Look at this. $2,000. This one went for actually $2,033. 94 bids. So if you want to learn how to look at the bid history, you go in and you click the 94 bids. And it is going to tell you exactly how many bidders. So unique bidders with 94 bids. So between the nine people, they bid 94 times. So that's how you read that. This was a seven day auction. And you can kind of see, um, if you want to look at show automatic bids, it gives you a little more in depth information there. But anyway, you're probably thinking, yeah, right. This didn't really sell, but let me show you. If you go into their feedback and you put in ready cut, you will see here, great item as described, quick shipping, five stars, it was a pleasure. And right there is the sold price. So that is one way to confirm that an item actually did sell. All right, so let's get into the top three selling um, vintage tins right now. Oysters. I don't know what it is about oysters, but you are going to see that there are a ton of high selling oyster tins. These are vintage. This guy went for $1,550. It is a one gallon tin and you can see the top here. So if you get one of these, you want to make sure you show every side top and bottom and really display the photos. Well, all right, here's another one. And this one is AC Harris. And I'm not sure what makes some go for more than others. The other one, the first one I just showed you was sealed. This one appears to not be sealed and very rusted out. And this still went for $885 with 42 bids. So definitely uh, if you see an oyster can or a tin, look it up. And if you can't find any comps and you can get it cheap, I would definitely take a chance. But we're going to talk about some other stuff at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that so that you don't get fooled. All right. This one is a Lumpkins Fish Hawk Oysters tin. And it only went for 660 But you can see here is the bottom. And again, it is an open tin. And this one is one pint. All right. So we're going to keep going here and show you the other top two trending. Here's another raw oysters, reliable brand. So as you can see, these are not the same brand. The graphics are all different and just something about oysters. People collect them. They collect the tins. This one's open. So if anybody knows why these are so collectible, please let me know in the comments. This one is also one pint. Went for $539.99. And um, you can see here they put top missing. All right. This one was just kind of a side note when there's not a lot of these. So this was kind of a one-off, but I did want to mention it because it is definitely worth mentioning. They are cake cones. It's a cake cone tin. And here's the bottom. 
So you can see like condition is not amazing. Like a lot of times you hear condition, 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 condition. And yes, you're going to get more money, the better condition it is in. But these are also going for big money, not in great condition. This one sold for $495 plus shipping. And the brand, it looks like um, Grippos. I don't know. Gripos, Grippos. Okay, here's another Oysters. This one is Vintage Fresh Sea Acre. This is a one gallon tin, sold for $492. And this one is open as well. Just amazing to me. All right, so here we go with our next tin to be on the lookout for. This is a condom tin, and this one. It's a little bit shocking to be quite honest, but these condom tins are highly collectible. This one sold for $405. So somebody put a dime next to it for reference. You can also use a tape measure and there it is. Uh, did it really sell? Well, here is the actual um, smooth transaction, rapid delivery, recommend this seller. So it did sell. Feedback was left for this item. It sold for $405 plus shipping. All right. So this one right here is another condom tin. So I guess if you see vintage condom tins, definitely look them up. If they're cheap, I guess just buy them. Um, this one actually, that's odd, has condoms in it. Okay, original content still intact. That's interesting. I didn't open that up before the picture. I didn't look at the pictures. This sold for $390 plus shipping. And again, we've got the feedback right here to prove it fast delivery. Let's see this one. Um, I don't know if this one was sealed or not. All right, let's move on here. All right, we did that one. Okay, marshmallows. This is your third vintage tin that is trending. For some reason, it's marshmallows, condoms, and oysters. I don't know, but these seem to be the big money trending um, vintage tins right now. So again, you know, conditions just, I mean, I guess it's probably good for the age, but this is a five pound lot or, um, 10 and it looks like maybe they picked it up somewhere and just decided to take a picture on top of their car because they wanted to get this listed ASAP. This sold for $370 plus shipping and it's Becker's. Becker's is the brand. And this one here is another one. This one is Fireside Marshmallows, $282 plus shipping. And again, I looked this one up and you can see it says nice. So that was a good transaction. This one is another oysters that went for $290. Again, an open 10. You can see that the sellers are showing as much detail as possible to their buyers. This one had 34 bids and the buyer paid shipping. This one's cool. Now this one makes sense to me because it has this really cool advertising graphic of the uh, store holding the baby and it's, it's just cool and pretty good condition. This one sold for $286 plus shipping. All right, here's another condom um, advertising, vintage advertising, $290 on this one. This one is empty, folks. No condoms in this one. Sold for $290 plus shipping. Um, this one is Gold Star. All right, we have this. Uh, this is a five-gallon aluminum. Did pretty good. I set it pretty good there. Oyster bucket, can with lid. And... You can see here is the lid that goes on top. This one sold for $227.50. So this one is not really a tin. It's an aluminum uh, bucket. So a little bit different, but still oyster in nature. So check out those oysters. Here's another one, Tom's Cove Oysters. Again, this one has a cool graphic. So I think when they have cool graphics like this, you know, that helps bring up the value, but some of them don't really even have that great of a picture on it. 
279.90 on this one plus shipping. All right, this is another one-off, but I thought it was cool and I wanted to share it. It is crispy flake potato chips. And this one sold for $280 plus shipping. So what this tells me is if you see these vintage tins out in the wild, look them up. If you can get them cheap, it might be worth just buying it and taking a chance. Um, what I always say about auctions is I like to start my auctions at what I'm willing to take or what I hope to get out of the item. Um, I actually listed a vintage, um, I believe it's a baby or a toddler full circle dress. I'm not sure if it's baby or toddler, but um, there's no size tag. But I listed it today for $49.99. And that is the minimum that I'm willing to take. I already have, I think, six or seven offers ranging from, I believe it's $54 up to $100. And they all came in within 10 to 15 minutes after listing. So I'm going to let that auction ride and I will give you guys an update in the future of how that ends up going. All right, the next item here is another Marshmallows um, advertising tin. This one is from 1920s White Dove. This one sold for $263.88 and here are the photos. And this one is another Marshmallow tin, Dillings Marshmallow tin. And... The graphic on the top is pretty interesting. It says gumdrops and jellies. So not sure what that means. Maybe it's uh, some type of marshmallow. I don't know. Anybody know? 202.50 on that one. And remember, stay tuned till the end because I'm going to talk to you guys about a little something else um, so that you don't get tricked. Antique Vintage Fireside Marshmallow Tin. Um, I did a video on the... I think it was the top five tins to be on the lookout for, and it was probably a year or two ago, and marshmallows was trending back then as well. This one went for $228 plus shipping. So I guess what I'm saying with that is these are holding their value. And this is another marshmallow one that went for $227.50 on auction, and Ziegler's Milwaukee, and this is a five pound tin. It's a big one. Here's another oyster. This is a one gallon empty can. It's even got like the little handle. It kind of looks like um, a jar of paint. Like, you know, you're gonna paint your house. It's an oyster jar, 231.50 on that one. And that one had free shipping. Here's another marshmallow one. I feel like this one might have been the style of um, ones that were kind of trending back when I did the other video. This one sold for 215.50 plus shipping. And this one is salt water oysters. And it's got, um, let's see, is that one? I think it's been opened. It kind of looks like it's still got the original top on it there. And that one sold for $203.51. And you can see these are all different brands. Here is another condom tin. Um, tested, tried, and true. Optimus Round. <laughs> Okay, $68.87. So that one didn't go for as much. Um, I feel like the seller probably should have opened this one up and showed the inside, maybe showed some of the side views, but $68 is still pretty fantastic for a tin. All right, so let's talk about um, when we search lowest. So what I want to show you here is not all vintage oyster tins are going to go for crazy money. And there are also reproductions. So you got to be careful and look for that as well. Make sure that you're actually getting an old one. But let's just kind of look through some of these lower priced ones. I mean, this is just like a old can, but it's got a cool graphic, but it only went for $15.99. And a lot of these are smaller. So just... Don't be confused. Definitely do your research. But I mean, if you can pick it up for a quarter or 50 cents, I mean, 20 bucks, 30 bucks is still a fantastic um, profit in my opinion. But we're just gonna scroll through some of the lower priced ones. Now we're getting up here in the $40 range. 
So you can see these maybe are not as old. Sailor Girl, 41 bucks for that one. Pretty consistent $40 for that one. If you ever see that one, that's not bad money. Sailor Boy, 45. That's easy to remember. I feel like if I saw that one, I would, that one I would remember for sure. And some of these, they may have just started the auction low and it just didn't go as high as they um, expected it to. See, here's that one that I showed earlier. And that one only went for 70. So start your auctions high if you think that it's it's got some value. Okay, let's look at the next one here. Maybe. Okay, so these are the condoms. And um, I don't think some of these are as old. But again, lots of variation in pricing. There's a lot of bread and butter vintage condom um, tins. So they are not all created equal. Definitely do your research, but you know, not bad. And these are just the auction ones. That's what I'm looking at here. I don't know. These are in another country. All right, let's look at, these are the marshmallows. And this is where you're going to run into the replica. This Campfire Marshmallows is a uh, popular one. And if you can find the vintage ones that are actually vintage, those can go for really good money. This one, however, is a replica and went for $11.50. Here's another replica. So definitely um, be careful for that one. That could definitely tri trick you, especially if it's kind of in beat up condition. But they're still selling, you know, for 15, 20 bucks. So if you can get it for, like I said, a quarter or 50 cents, it might be worth it. Now that one, I'm surprised didn't go for more. May again have been a case of they just started the auction too low and maybe there were quite a few up and just didn't go for as much. But yeah, we're 73, 70. So here's some that... We're getting into the $80 range. Some other ones to definitely uh, be on the lookout for. Moonlight Mellows. There's another one that's doing pretty good. I've seen a few of those. All right, you guys. So those were the top three trending vintage tens right now. So we've got um, marshmallows, condoms, and oysters. So be on the lookout for those vintage tens. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you like these types of videos, I call these my Bolo category videos, and I have a whole playlist of these. So definitely go check out some of those videos. Thank you for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and thanks for watching.